Man, oh man, Dwight Howard, all six foot eleven of his big smiling center butt is being accused and exposed. He sent social media ablaze, trending one and two over this past weekend because someone has brought accusations on him. And we're going to discuss it in what I deem is the life game from this story in this video. What's up, Almond Brown? Why don't you let me help you with your little test? What's good, YouTube? You're in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host. Bringing you a life gain in trending topics, trying to figure out where is the shining light? How can you take something and learn from it? Because we call those life gains on this channel. And we're talking about Dwight Howard and a transgender is coming out, spilling it all. And we're going to talk about it, but first... On this channel, we put on the plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell. Because we work on skilling up our craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors for this video, the Robin Hood app. If you're not doing stocks and bonds right now, preparing for your future, you should be. The app is free, it's in the video description link. And also, IP Vanish. If you're streaming on the web, you need to protect yourself and keep it private. Go get IP Vans. Link is in the video description. And also, subscribe to the Life Gains Fitness channel. I'm starting to put my content back up there coming soon. I'm going to give you the synopsis of the story. Then I'm going to give you actual audio footage and some pictures and social media. And then we're going to come back and talk about the Life Gain. But first things first, transgender by the name of Mason, I'm not even going to try to butcher his last name, met Dwight Howard on the set of Wild and Out a couple of years ago. Now Mason, like I said, is a transgender, but is a man. And they had a relationship, everything was going good. And then all of a sudden, Mason finds out that Dwight Howard is going to sex parties and having sex. And he's bending over that six foot 11 frame and he's taking them back shots back there without lube. Yes, Dwight Howard is the bottom part. So they're saying in these stories. Transgender gets upset, tells Dwight Howard, oh, fix this thing, we gotta make up, whatever, whatever. And Dwight Howard is not compliant and wants to cut off Mason. And what happens is, <laughs> it's reported that Dwight Howard's pastor made threatening, threatening suits against Mason, even threatening the life. <laughs> it's not funny, but you're dealing with taboo things here, y'all. You know, first of all, apparently Dwight Howard, if he engages in this behavior, has come clean to the pastor. And of course, maybe the pastor wants to protect his greatest percent of tithes and offering, which probably is Dwight Howard in that church. And so they go after Mason and try to get them to sign a non-disclosure form. Mason's like, hell to the no, I ain't doing none of that. And then the threats ensue. Take a listen to this recorded comment that Mason did with Dwight Howard and it sounds to me like Dwight Howard kind of knew he was being investigated because he ain't really respond much. But you take a look and then we'll come back with the life game. You know, it's HIV out there. It's herpes out there. It's other STDs out there. And you're going to sex parties fucking people raw. Like, what type of man does? Did your mother raise you to be the, a man like that? Did your father raise you to be a man like that? Yeah, my gosh, that's all you can say. And and you know that I'm not lying, because if I was lying, you would say, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, and you know I'm not lying. Just keep it real. No, oh my God, I literally have been speaking to you for, oh, oh my God, I've been speaking to you for some time now, Dwight. I've been speaking to you for some time now, Dwight. I sent you nudes of me, Dwight. I sent you nudes in general, Dwight. 
You told me that you wanted to be in your ass, Dwight. You told me that you want some suck Dwight. You have been flirting, Dwight. You knew what I was, Dwight. So what the fuck are you talking about? Am I lying? Oh, you, now you got amnesia. Oh my God, now you have amnesia. That's a damn shame, Dwight. After hearing that, what do you all think? So let's just kind of talk about what I deem are the life gains from this video. First of all, some transgenders can do a good damn job of looking like whatever they're trying to change into. I, I think that when you first meet someone, if you look like a woman but you know you started out as a man, I think you have an obligation to let the person know because they might be assuming different. I mean, it's no different from when you're getting to date somebody, you're getting to know them, and you start going off the things you check off as dots and eyes for a relationship. Some people won't date you if you've got bad credit. Some people won't date you if you have a job. Some people won't date you if you've got, you know, herpes, syphilis, whatever. You need to let people know what they're getting into so that they can make an informed decision about going forward with the relationship. Now, on the flip side of that, to athletes, if you're into that, if you like transgender, stop trying to keep it under wraps. This is a new day and age in sexual orientation, sexual freeness and all that. If you're gay, just say you're gay. Have the courage of your convictions and say you're gay. If you like transgenders, say you like transgenders. Come on out with it. That is the life game. Be who you are. Don't try to suppress who you are. Be who you are and roll with it. Being yourself is one of the best ways to set yourself free. If you know you like this type of behavior, trying to hide it and masquerade it and sneak behind closed doors, all that can make life way more stressful than it needs to be versus you just coming out and liberating yourself and being who you are. So I will keep following this chaotic story for y'all and let y'all know what happens, but my life game is just be who you are. And when you're getting into relationships, let people know what they're working with up front. Now you guys let me know what you think. What are your life game takeaways from this story? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Be true to who you are, people. Let folks know that stuff up front. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.